Hello, this is Tatiana, and today we'll do some unconventional brainstorming to get new ideas for your project or your aspiration in life. If you feel somehow stuck and you need new, fresh ideas, let's do it. It's really fun and you'll see the results in about 15 minutes. You have probably heard about brainstorming. It's just an exercise to generate ideas based on a question and it's widely used by companies to create a new product or to improve an existing product. But you can also do brainstorming solo by yourself if you need new ideas for your project or if you want to find out how you could improve a certain area in your life. For example, you'd like to be more active. So what ideas could you implement to become more active? There are just a few rules for brainstorming. And the first one is the more ideas you get, the better. Imagine that you have a magic wand in your hand, a real one. So you can create whatever you want. For this exercise, there is no limits. And the second rule is no analysis. Keep those ideas flowing. Silly ideas might give birth to very productive and really useful ones. So for this exercise, we really want to avoid analyzing because it's a different activity. It's a left brain process that can interfere with generating ideas. And the third rule is keep it fun. Make a game out of it. Laugh at your silly ideas you come up with, but no judgment. Save it for later. And the fourth rule, use mind mapping. So this technique was invented by Tony Buzan. And basically it means generating ideas based on existing ideas by the means of associations. It's like your ideas are procreating right here on your paper or wherever you, uh, you write them down. During this process, I'll show you some videos and you'll hear various music. It might seem random, but the videos were carefully selected and they might create certain associations. So I'll invite you to watch them and to pause at any moment if you need to, if you have an idea and write it down. Or alternatively, you can simply watch the whole thing without any pressure and write your ideas by the end. So you might notice that you'll start to generate ideas when you are watching this. And if you don't, don't worry, it's okay too. So you'll be able to do it later. We'll have a very, very short visualization relaxation exercise by the end of the video that will help you get into a very nice state and help you with idea generation. So before we dive in, I'll invite you to think about your intention for this exercise. What is it that you'd like to achieve? What ideas would you like to come up with? So maybe your intention is um, to move forward with a certain project, to generate ideas for your YouTube channel, or maybe for your book, for your novel, maybe for your visual arts, maybe something else. I don't know. Imagine that maybe one month from now you've achieved it, you have this, you are a little bit different. You enjoy this immensely. Maybe you'll even notice how your posture is changing. Probably your shoulders start to roll out a little bit. <sighs> You start to breathe differently. Imagine that you have a cord that goes up from your head and kind of pull it slightly and comfortably so that your spine is getting a little bit more straight. So this is a perfect uh, posture for getting into a state of uh, generating ideas. You can even uh, raise your arms up in the victory pose and it's been proven by science that when you do this there is a slight change that's happening on the hormonal level. So basically it's um, our body language will change and shift our state into a more productive one and the one that is fun. The funny thing that you can connect with this feeling even before you achieve your goal. And this is the best place and the best state to generate your ideas from.
what would be the easiest action to do to get closer to your outcome? What would be the most enjoyable action to do? What would your favorite actor or singer suggest to do? Or maybe even a fictional character? What's the worst possible action? What or who can help you with this? What one-time action can get you closer to your goal? What would be the craziest thing to do? What would a 10-year-old child suggest to do? What would your best friend suggest? What are you really good at and how can you use it here? What did you do in the past that could be helpful here? Please don't listen to this part while driving. As now, it's a great time to let go of thinking. You're doing great. Please find a comfortable place to relax for just a few minutes. Let go of any tension to breathe and be still. Just as the water is still when there is no wind. Just like the moon is still when it's peeking in your window, slowly counting from 10 down to 1, comfortably, quietly, 10, enjoying this little moment of stillness, 9, luxury of not doing, 8, and you might check and relax your jaw, 7, and take a breath. Six. Soothing and calm. Five. Imagining the space around you. Four. Expanding and being filled with light. Three. Maybe going beyond the, this room. Two. Imagining what's outside of those walls. One. 
How far can you effortlessly travel at a simple count of ten? Zero. And I invite you to feel why your goal is so important. The real life benefits, the good stuff it brings you, even now. And who you are when you reach it. Who are you as a person? You might even imagine yourself walking down the street. This is you from the near future. And you've got this. And it's obvious, it's visible. Just take a look at your posture and your smile. You're up to something extraordinary. Simply imagine the feeling of having this. It's yours. Right now. And the best thing is that you know how and what to do while enjoying the journey and walking to your goal lightly with a smile alone or with someone dancing to your goal playing your way to your aspiration which one will you choose to be admirable as you are right now walking forward and liking it and here's another count from one up to five and in a moment i'll invite you to discover just how energized and refreshed you'll feel when you hear number five one how are your hands feeling maybe wiggle those fingers two how about another breath would it feel nice three what sounds can you hear around you four and how about an enjoyable stretch? Five. You are amazing. You're doing great. have a few ideas to add to your brainstorming map. I hope you enjoyed the process. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your time and your attention. Please comment below, subscribe and like. If you liked it, I wish you a lot of success. Okay, bye. And the third rule is keep it fun. Make a game out of it. What? I wanted to, to go through this hole, but I can't. How can I? I should get out of it. Uh, how can I get out of here? Uh, am I am I bothering you? No, it's it's looking at me.